Hello everyone, uh, I wanted to make a sloop design video today. I created this sloop and I got a few comments telling me it's a real nice design. So I thought I'd make a video on how I built it. Um, so this is an adaptation of Jolly J's uh, basic sloop design. And there's a few small things I've changed that I found made it really much easier to get around the ship. And mostly it's uh, easier with the game UI to handle it. So let's go over it. Uh, so first off, uh, the main change I made from the basic design, which I'll put the link to in the description, is that I didn't use any hatches to get to the lower deck of the ship. As you see here, I have two hatches on this ship. First off is the main storage area hatch. As you see, I have a resource box here and the big cabin here um, and on the front I have another hatch which leads to a small storage box uh, this is mainly for food and tools and stuff I have a fireplace here right next to the driver to the steering wheel I found that when staying through cold areas you tend to get fr uh, frozen if the fireplaces are in the front so I put one here and it basically covers it um, so let's look at the lower deck. As you see I used the slope door instead of a hatch. Uh, a hatch with the rope ladder tends to get the UI all freaked out and you need to start searching for the buttons all the time. So this makes it much much easier to get around the boat. Uh, and it also acts as a ramp when closed to get to the back of the ship. So the lower decks is pretty simple, I have a bed here, this is the resource box and the cabin. As you see I can reach the cabin rather easily uh, using the jump. I also have some extra storage space here if I want it. Um, and some more on the front, as you see I have a smithy here uh, for repairs and crafting st stuff. And that's the basic slope design. Um, I also put some uh, windows here just so I can see through the window, uh, see what's going on outside, on both sides. And that's the basic sloop design. Let me know if you like it in the comment section below. And before I go, one more thing. Uh, if any of you are wondering how I changed the fonts in the game, um, I can make another video on how I did that. Let me know if you're interested in the comment section below. So thanks guys and enjoy!